think about yourself, not others, is a way to say that you should pay more attention to your own thoughts and feelings instead of worrying about what other people are doing or thinking. It means you should focus on making yourself better, achieving your own goals, and taking care of your mind and emotions. We're all different, and being happy and successful often comes from looking inside yourself, understanding what you want, and working towards it. This is about the idea of turning your attention to yourself for a more satisfying and genuine life. Let me share you a story. In a quiet village nestled amid lush rolling hills, there lived a monk named Kaido. He was dedicated to the teachings of enlightenment, following the path of spiritual awakening. But, like many others, he often found himself distracted by the actions and progress of his fellow monks. Kaito would frequently steal glances during meditation sessions to compare himself to others. He couldn't help but wonder if they were sitting more upright or meditating with a deeper concentration than he was. This constant comparison left him feeling a mix of envy and frustration as he believed he was lagging behind on his spiritual journey. In addition to his struggles during meditation, Kaito found himself grappling with restlessness during his daily chores. He often compared his work to that of his fellow monks, wondering if they were more diligent and efficient in their tasks. This constant self-doubt cast a shadow over his daily life sapping his energy and enthusiasm for his responsibilities in the monastery. One day, after a particularly challenging meditation session, Kato decided to seek guidance from an elderly monk named Master Zenro. Zenro was known for his wisdom and compassion, having spent a lifetime on his own spiritual quest. Kaito approached Master Zenro, bowing respectfully, and shared his struggles. Zenro, with a serene smile, patted Kaido's shoulder and spoke gently. Dear friend, your struggles are shared by many. Each of us faces unique challenges on our path to enlightenment. Remember, every journey unfolds at its own pace, and comparing yourself to others only hinders your progress. Master Zenro continued by sharing a tale with Kaido. In a distant forest, there were a myriad of beautiful flowers, each possessing its own unique beauty and fragrance. These flowers did not compare themselves to one another or aspire to be like the other. They simply bloomed according to their own nature, adding to the beauty of the forest. Master Zenro looked deep into Kaito's eyes and said, Just like those flowers, each individual has their own strengths and weaknesses, unique qualities and virtues. Your journey is personal, and the key is to nurture your own inner garden rather than worrying about others' progress. Master Zenro's voice carried the weight of age and wisdom as he continued. These flowers, each unique, shared their beauty harmoniously. And so, in our own spiritual garden, each of us can flourish in our own way, contributing to the greater tapestry of our community. Kaito nodded, feeling the depth of these words sinking into his heart, like the roots of a tree finding their way into fertile soil. Kaito listened intently, his heart slowly calming. Master Zenro encouraged him to embrace mindfulness in all aspects of his life. Be fully present in the moment during meditation, allowing your mind to naturally settle. When you perform daily tasks, do them with attention and care. In this way, you will find a profound sense of contentment and peace, free from the burdens of comparison. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Kaido took Master Zenro's advice to heart. He practiced mindfulness diligently, focusing on his own journey without concern for others' progress. Gradually, he began to experience a deep sense of tranquility and self-acceptance. One day during meditation, Kaito felt a profound shift within himself. He realized that comparing himself to others had been an unnecessary burden. In the silence of his heart, he embraced the wisdom of Master Zenro's teachings and understood that his progress was unique and perfectly suited to his own spiritual growth. From that moment on, Kaito became an embodiment of inner peace and contentment. He blossomed like the flowers in the forest, each petal reflecting his newfound wisdom. His spiritual journey flourished, becoming an inspiration to all who encountered him in the serene village. Kaito's journey wasn't just about focusing on himself. 
he discovered that by nurturing his own inner garden, he could cultivate healthier relationships with those around him. When he focused on self-care, he stood taller, walked more confidently, and was happier in every aspect of his life. Kaito's newfound self-assurance was infectious, inspiring those around him to embark on their journey of self-improvement. In Kaito's own words, focusing on yourself is not selfish. It is an essential step on the path to enlightenment. It's about self-care mindfulness, gratitude, and letting go of the need to compare ourselves to others. As we improve ourselves, we become a positive force in the lives of those around us. And so, the village learned the invaluable lesson of focusing on their inner gardens, not the gardens of others. They embarked on a collective journey of self-improvement, creating a positive impact on their lives and the lives of those around them. The story of Kaido and Master Zenro teaches us that comparing ourselves to others can hinder our own progress and lead to unnecessary suffering. Each individual's journey is unique, and the key to inner peace and personal growth is to focus on nurturing our own strengths and virtues, rather than being preoccupied with the achievements of others. Embracing mindfulness and self-care helps us find contentment, happiness, and contribute positively to the world around us.